Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to Jason is a Social Scientist! Five Mouth Daily, pill number 826! Oh my goodness, we're gonna get back to full shows. It's been resting up. Give me, give me a break, right? No, I'm just resting up, and then I'll um, be back to full shows soon. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Um, um, how is everyone? All right. Is anybody wondering what the show is about? You probably all know by now. <laughs> all right, so some of you might be wondering. Some, later on, some of you might be wondering what the show is about. People often wonder what the show is about. The premise is deceptively simple. I take my HIV medication live on the book of faith each day in front of friends family and strangers i do so in order to embrace stigma dispel ignorance and find support after 826 pills 826 shows a number of bells whistles and bows have risen up and around it about the show the bells bows and other people the people that come back night after night and give me their most valuable resource their time to me, that's the most significant thing that's risen up and around and about the show, the community. Therein lies the support that I was looking for. But a number of bells, whistles, and bows have risen up and around and about the show. Ding dong bell, boy do she now, hell, I mean, heck. The show has it all. I like to say that it is Cloud Atlas and that it incorporates at least 600 years of entertainment. With Edward R. Murrow's radio broadcasts, on record, and cylinders played on a 19th century Edison home phonograph, along with the nursery rhyme book from my childhood containing woodcut illustrations from the 15th century. It is, in a sense, also The Matrix. In a previous iteration of the show, I created something I call the Rainbow Tunnel, in which I harnessed the power of Grayskull and the Eye of Thundera, funneling them through a series of warp and cells, creating a static warp bubble and a subsequent singularity, punching a hole through the fourth wall, across the multiverse, and into the source. The show now takes place in an echo chamber, created by me that serves as a way station between our reality and the source. I don't expect lay people to fully understand, as this is advanced social science. Yes, the show's also like an old-timey variety show, Carol Burnett style. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to come back to full shows soon. I'm sorry, everyone. Wait, where were we? I know I lost it. With Edward R. Murrow's radio broadcast on record and cylinders played on a 19th century Edison home phonograph along with the nursery rhyme book from my childhood containing woodcut illustrations from the 15th century. It is, in a sense, also The Matrix. In a previous iteration of the show, I created something I call the Rainbow Tunnel, in which I harnessed the power of Grayskull and the Eye of Thundera, funneling them through a series of warp and cells, creating a static warp bubble and a subsequent singularity, punching a hole through the fourth wall. I already did this part. Through the fourth wall, across the multiverse, and into the source. The show now takes place in an echo chamber. In an echo chamber created by me that serves as a way station between our reality and the source. I don't expect lay people to fully understand as this is advanced social science. I just need, I've been needing to rest up. Needing to rest up. <laughs> yeah, so the show's also like an old timey variety show, Carol Burnett style, mixed with a merry melody of Looney Tunes and a measure of Mark and Mindy, a dash of Mr. Ed and two two doses of Alice in Wonderland, a helping of Hee Haw, heaps of Benny Hill, a hint of the Highlander, tons of the Twilight Zone, a tincture of Teen Wolf. Ow, 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 ow! An ounce of odds, a cup of creep show and cast away, quart of quantum leap and a gallon of Gilligan's Island. It's a four hour show, a four minute tour. Piles of Pee Wee's Playhouse, a pinch of Peter Pan, a pound of Popeye. I am what I am, a whole block of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, and a ration of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. I'm just a sweet trans, best night, I'm trans. Sexual Transylvania, ha ha. Come up to the lab. See what's on the slab. I can see you shiver. 
with Antissa. Patient. T -t -t Touch me. I want to be dirty. Uh, thrill me. Chill me. Follow. Fill me. Creature of the night. An undone Benjamin Button. A corny ear of Dumbo. A college try of I Spy. A couple of raw strokes of Bob Ross. A spoonful of Mary Poppins in the full. Monty. Python. Finally, Lump and Rick and Morty with a liter, a liter, a liter of I Love Lucy in the sky with diamonds and wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. You've got the show. Everything is out of place and out of time here, including and especially me. Alice will always be pregnant. Harambe will always be ready for Harai Fives. The first and the second coming will always be risen with the Obamas getting blowjobs from the Woodies. The Supermen and their boners will always be spinsters and sempstresses working the sweatshop. The twin, twin towers will always stand with Lady Liberty. You will have their MTV. Pigs will fly. Disco and dance will reign like men did in the days of old. I write nightly the future history of anachronism for your future children and your elderly grandparents. May they enjoy it now and time. Immemorial. If I'd have people take only one thing away from this show, it would be the knowledge that HIV is preventable. If you're HIV negative, there's a once-a-day pill you can take. They call it PrEP. Pre-exposure protocol, the pill is Truvada. And if you're HIV negative, you take it once a day. And it works like a highly effective chemical condom. It prevents HIV. But if you're already HIV positive like me, treatment is prevention. By taking my medication every day and maintaining an undetectable viral load, it makes it so I'm not contagious. U equals U. Undetectable equals untransmissible. You could fuck me bareback all day long and never catch HIV for me. It's a brave new world. The future is now and it's 1969. Free love. Woo. Dang it, dang it, dang it. All right. Pill number 826. Down the hatch. I have a dentist appointment tomorrow. My first one. Uh, I might be my first one since I was... Besides, I had a cavity filled. But my first cleaning since I was diagnosed, which is like three years. Shame on me. All right. All right. No, it's just one of those things that I didn't want, you know, you just don't want to deal with after your diagnosis, at least for me. All right. So pill number 826, down the hatch. We are robot. All right, so, um, and then we'll be back for a full show tomorrow night. I'm almost pretty sure, I think, uh, we'll try to put together, um, Jack's birthday present as a, a telescope. Here's the base for it right here. I don't know. Mama, mommy started putting it together, and uh, I don't know. We get um. Well, well, it's similar to the telescope we saw uh, when we were camping this summer uh, at the, the boys were able to see like the. Um, and like the craters on the moon and stuff really well. Uh, and I think with two of us working together, if we get good at pointing it too, we'll be able to look at the International Space Station. That'd be fun to see. For HIV. <laughs> For HIV, Michael. I... I take my HIV medication live on the book of face each day in front of friends, family, and strangers. I do so in order to embrace stigma, dispel ignorance, and find support. <laughs> Pushing the boat out, I don't know that phrase. Let's see. Um, All right, I love you all. 
I'm gonna go, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, I love you. Mwah!